hey guys welcome to hope cradle sheila here for those new to the channel well did you know that the mind is one of the most important parts of your body well there are different verses or different parts of the bible that try that prove so that your mind is one of the crucial parts of your bodies and that you are what you think you don't go beyond your imaginations or beyond your thoughts you are what you think what you're constantly thinking in your mind and as you're going to see in different verses though i'll not delve so much into them but we'll see we get to see that indeed your mind is very important and it dictates your life and there are different parts or we have heard before that the mind is the battlefield of the, the devil where he tries to bring you all these kinds of negative thoughts and the moment you start thinking on whatever you're thinking be it positive or be it negative it affects your life and it impacts your life such that whatever is going on in your mind or whatever you're constantly thinking it starts manifesting in different areas of your life and we will go right into the in, into the bible or the different verses that we have first is a book of romans from chapter 12 from verse 2 which says and be not conformed to the world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of god so the word tries to tell us that your mind you need to rethink or try to renew your thoughts try to renew them such that they align with what god says about you they align with what god's will is towards your life or towards you so there are so many thoughts that cross our mind sometimes especially maybe physical attributes sometimes one may think eh i'm not beautiful enough i'm not handsome enough i don't have a a a good body structure you know like like the world tries to portray the perfect male the perfect female the perfect child or the perfect human in general so there are so many things that the, the world try to prove to us especially when it comes to physical attributes so sometimes one may start thinking oh, i don't have a, a nice figure if you're female hey, my face doesn't look so good my hair is not as perfect as it should be you know my hair color is not good all these things that are negative they try to to take out you the moment you start thinking about them constantly you start even having a body negative body images or or low self esteem and that's the problem that's where the problem starts your thought your thinking how you're thinking about your physical attributes there are other ways like um uh, let's say for example about health you start thinking you're sick or maybe you feel a little bad in you maybe your body is feeling a little unwell and then you start thinking or delving or d- dwelling in the thoughts of how your body is sick and all that and then you start worsening so the best way to tackle this or to tackle negative thoughts is checking what the word of god says about you if it's physical attributes the word of god tells us in different verses that we are made in his image so however you look you look exactly like god and don't ever let anyone tell you that you you don't you don't match up to the world standard no you look exactly like what god wanted you to look like your physical attributes they don't they they should not match or they should not be compared or be be set into the worldly standards it's what god says about you that matters the most we are made in the image of god if it's about health or if it's about any other thing if it's about health the word the word tells us very well that we are healed by his stripes even when you're feeling unwell don't let the world or the medical reports or the hospital reports start uh, putting down your spirits and you start meditating on the negative uh, reports you got from the hospital start thinking of what Jesus did he healed people during his time on earth he can also heal you even right now because he's the same god who was there during those times he remains the same and he never changes so what your mind what goes on in your mind it really impacts your life be it even success in life sometimes we like to say sometimes we like to say uh, especially when it comes maybe into uh, maybe succeeding in life be it getting a, a good employment or be it succeeding in your business and all that all these things the success really starts in your mind and that's why the word of god today is telling us that we should not be conformed into the into the standards or into the thinking of the world what the world thinks instead we renew our minds with the word of god we renew our minds uh, to prove 
what is good and the perfect acceptable perfect will of god so don't let the worldly standards or what the world says about you or about people or about life or about business or whatever thing is out there don't let them limit your thinking instead think of what god says his word says that you're more than a conqueror in him it says that uh, no weapon fashioned against you will ever prosper he says you you're strong if you're weak say you're strong and you'll be strong if you if you if you're feeling unwell say you're well if you if, whatever circumstance you might be in just say the opposite say what the word of god says about you and you'll start seeing transformation in your life god has made you his righteousness so even when maybe sometimes you may find yourself you've fallen short or you or you you've given in into into sin and all that don't dwell into the sin remember who god has made you he's made you his righteousness he's given you victory in christ accept it and start living like a victorious person so don't conform into the world's standard or whatever the world says about you or about people or about life start instead saying about your life what the word of god says there's also another verse that shows about shows us about uh what you put in your mind like there's a second corinthians chapter 10 from verse uh from verse 4 from verse 5 it says we pull down every thought or every proud obstacle that is raised against the knowledge of god so any thought that comes to your mind that is negative, that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. And what is the knowledge of God? It's who God says you are. So no one should come to you and tell you you're a sinner or you're, you're, uh, you're inadequate or all those negative stuff. Never accept that. Instead, accept what God says about you. And so the word is telling us from verse 5, it's saying that pull down any proud obstacle, any thought, any proud negative thought that tries to exalt itself above the knowledge of God, about, above the knowledge of what God says about you. Pull it down. Don't entertain it in your mind. And, um, uh, okay, raised against the knowledge of God. We take every thought captive and make it obey God. So any negative uh, thought that crosses your mind, bring it down. Don't exalt it above the word of God. If the word of God says you're strong and then people around you or you yourself, you're thinking, hey, I'm weak. I can't, I can't do this or whatever business idea I have. I can't do it. I'm weak. Uh, I'm incapable of doing it. No, the word of God says that you're strong in Christ. So instead of entertaining any knowledge or any any thought that tries to exalt it, itself above God's knowledge, that is the word of God. Bring it down and bring it captive to obey God. And what is God? To obey what his word says regarding your life. There is also another verse in um, Philippians chapter 4 from verse 8, which says, Finally, brethren, whatever things that are true, whatever things that are honest, whatever things that are just, whatever things that are pure, whatever things that are lovely, whatever things that are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So what things are you supposed to think about? All those things that are lovely and what is what is uh, what can be lovelier than what God's report says regarding you what God's word says about you so don't think don't let negative thoughts enter your mind instead only focus on what the word of God says and start meditating on those positive words in your mind so that's all for today my people do share please let other people know about what thoughts that should what that should be running in their minds don't let people go out despairing because the moment the negative thoughts dwell in our minds they start bringing anxiety and worry and hopelessness but the moment you start thinking about the word of god and you let it dwell in your mind and it goes into your heart then that's the only positive word that's going to come out of your mouth and you're going even to transform your life because like we said earlier that you are what you think so if you're constantly thinking about negative stuff you become that and it starts manifesting in your life but if you're constantly thinking about positive things especially what god says about you then those things will manifest in your life and you start thriving and succeeding in your life so that's all for today people do share with your friends the love and the and the hope that you find in the channel do like or and also share your comments on the comment section and please 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 subscribe if you're not subscribed and also 
uh, click on the notification button so that you can get to know when we upload our next video that's all for today bye people and i love you